Chennai is getting back to normal. Volunteers and NGOs are throwing in their might to bring the city and the state back after the devastating floods. 90,000 hectares of rice crop, in fact, have been damaged. Heavy rains which had left a trail of death and destruction in Tamil Nadu have not even spared the standing Samba crop in the Delta districts, rice bowl of the state. Incessant heavy rains have damaged paddy crops in over 90,000 hectares in Tiruvarur and Nagapatnam districts. Meanwhile, Chennai's Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium has become the hub for flood relief materials that are coming in via road as well as rail. Those who want to send relief materials can do so, and Chennai Municipal Corporation staff and volunteers are engaged in distributing this to the affected population. So many volunteers, until yesterday we had 1,200 volunteers just doing food packing on like a three shift, they'll come and stay on for about five hours. We had different sections, you know, bringing in from the kitchen, packing, and then, you know, dispatching. And as an architect, I'd like to give back to the society what architecture has taught me. And I'd like to build structures, semi-permanent structures to the people who've been affected by the flood. Non-government organizations have come forward in relief work in ensuring food and water supplies. Several gurdwaras have also made arrangements for food and water for the people. Langar, free kitchen is going on. We are providing almost 10,000 packets of food every day, along with fresh, good drinking water. I thought I need to help the people. Many people are suffering here due, due to this flood. So I thought I should come here and start helping people. At least 347 people have died in separate incidents related to rain and floods in the state from October till now, while 17.64 lakh people have been rescued and have taken shelter in 6,605 relief camps set up by the state. The centre has declared the recent floods in Tamil Nadu as a calamity of severe nature. With Sanjay Ghosh in Kadalore and Amrit Pal Singh in Chennai, Newsnight Desk, DD News.